Hello and welcome back. It's Double O Debbie, and this is episode 66 of my Diary of Me 1.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and we're back here today. We're going to continue our quest to uh, make a better mob trap <laughs> and a better, uh, a better uh, industrial foregoing setup. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I have been very busy, and I died. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have got it on camera. It was just a series of bad events happened. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> it's like I came in here and I was I was messing with uh, the system over here, trying to get it. I Put the tinted ethereal glass in so I can come in. I don't want to go in there right now. Let's just quickly turn everything off. You just right click in there, it zeroes it out. So I don't have to keep typing it. So now I can go in there uh, and adjust my mob masher if necessary. I can change spawn eggs. Um, so I was doing all that, and I came down here to upgrade my battery. I installed a resident component and a stabilized RF coil. So this puppy will hold 24 million RF now. So once I bring it down here, it's going to stay for a while. And this is still this is still draining power, even though it's not running. Oh, that's so good. Uh, it's not good at all. It's it's not even receiving a redstone signal to to tell it to operate. Oh well, maybe I should just. Uh, is that feeding to the right? shut that off oh wait that's for oh that's for the controller i bet yeah because look it's already it's draining down wow that takes a lot of energy Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, that's like, uh, I guess, a downside to using uh, XNet. Uh, the controller sucks down a lot of juice, even when it's not being used. I guess technically it is, it is giving the signal of zero. So it's technically it's doing stuff, yes. But that's pretty pricey. Um, yeah, because I think there are like another set of red redstone cables that might do something similar, uh, but it won't have like a control. I remember there being a set like that, but I think that that. Uh, Cable, no, it wasn't, it wasn't extra utilities cable that did that. It was a, a different type of cable. I could have swore it was just XNet, but it didn't have the controller. But I don't see anything similar, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know what other thing to use. Do what I want. I could probably use integrated dynamics to do 
same thing. And I don't think that uses RF. Maybe it doesn't use as much. I don't know. Um, that would be cool to try it out. Direwolf gets his uh, redstone part implemented on laser IO to see <laughs> that to see how uh, what you can do with that. So anyway, I came down here to fiddle with this, and as I was walking by over here, I noticed that I had a bunch of mobs in this corner, and uh, they were just stuck there. Oh, plus I upgraded. I needed a way to get in and out of here so that I could upgrade my mob masher with all these uh, uh, upgrades, the sharpness and looting. And I also made some for this guy over here, only I had to bust out a block in order to place all the upgrades. Um, and I, yeah, that's when I noticed I had a bunch of mobs here and it, it, I was like, I just put that, all those upgrades in there, those mobs should be getting one shot if they weren't even getting pushed over. Uh, so I turned on the area and I couldn't even see it so I thought there was something blocking it so I broke a block so that I could <laughs> try and see if I could break it and there was a creeper over there and the creeper blew up <laughs> and I was I was still fine but uh, before I could get everything sealed back off a spider came out and it was a named spider <laughs> and yeah it, i was trying to get my to my sword and and block but yeah i didn't uh i didn't get taken away very uh i didn't get away fast enough but i had to dig down in here because the creeper blew up some blocks over here uh and, and I had to fill that in. <laughs> so I had to dig down out here so I could fill those blocks in. Because mobs were still spawning. Um, yeah, but this fan somehow got turned another direction. There wasn't anything blocking it. Uh, but when I came back over, I noticed that it was like uh, the area was pointed down instead of out could see it, the outline of it, like, uh, you? you could see it like that at the bottom, but you couldn't see the rest of it. That's why I was like, I, I didn't know what was going on, uh, but yeah, somehow it got turned <laughs> and, and bad things happen. So that's that's my death so yeah uh but i got a lot of things upgraded and taken care of i got all my batteries upgraded with these uh resonant integral components and stabilized rf coils uh, so they can hold 24 million rf each so i got four of those that's a lot of power but yeah, this one's empty, so I need to grab him up. He just got sucked into the system. Yeah, that's kind of why I like how this is set up. Uh, to just feed into a chest. And since I got looting on this, this thing is going crazy. It's, it's getting so much that it can't pull out fast enough. Uh, I might need to upgrade this guy with some upgrades to to be able to keep up with this because uh yeah I haven't done uh I don't know why I put off doing all of those I guess I didn't really have a lot 
of iron to be putting into those. Now I just got I got tons of iron since I've had quarries on for a while. Uh, so that was not an issue. I, I feel a lot better about the gold too. So I was able to uh, you know get those luck upgrades too because they do take a little bit of gold is what is it um is it luck? this this is not um oh moody moody yeah, I mean, it only takes some gold nuggets, and I get a lot of gold nuggets uh, from, you know, the moth system. <laughs> so, uh, anytime there's that, uh, the named mobs, uh, when the moth system kills it, they give me tons and tons of gold nuggets. And I can, uh, I actually use quite a bit of nuggets, so I just, uh, dump those into my system. <laughs> and that goes into the chest, and it automatically puts, fills it into my chest right there. Uh, I use quite a bit of them, so I get glowstone, quite a bit of glowstone, too. Uh, which is good because I haven't really seen a lot of glowstone where I'm at in the nether. Uh, well, at least that not that it's easily accessible. <laughs> uh, there is glowstone. But anyway, I was upgrading all of these things while I was waiting for uh, my latex to start, you know, coming in and dealing with with uh, how I'm going to process my latex after that. Because there is another step that you have to do before you can get uh, your plastic. Uh, so I added in this little guy, the crafter, tier one. That's all I really need because I just need the one recipe. It pulls in our tiny dry rubber uh, and combines it and then spits out the dry rubber into here which then gets sucked into the system uh, here's my other battery i do need to get it out and charging as well so i'm gonna take you even this guy's full i need to go get that other one that is in Probably upstairs up here. You, you, yes. So that one needs to go get charged. I'll make sure this is the one need to. Okay, now it's filled enough. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got power again. 24 million FD. Um, but we got power coming out down. That's what we needed. Maybe coming out? Did it coming out? Um, uh, maybe... I don't know if that had something to do with the phasing. Uh, down, go out. Maybe I should put in this one. Uh, probably because it's not actually doing anything because it's out of wood uh, i disconnected these guys because um they were draining my power very very quickly and 
I can't I can't deal with that amount of power drainage right now. Uh, <laughs> maybe later, but right now not so much. Um, so yeah, I did disconnect them. So we got uh, we need to get this block placer so we can automate the latex, and then we can get more block placers to put in to my little uh, source distribution system <laughs> uh that's the dream if this uh this doesn't work then i guess i'll just have to wait and go to the end uh to get the ability to create the source warpers and then i should be going uh, but we, sh I don't. I'm hoping we have four plastic by now. Uh, it should be over in the system. Just fix this real quick. Uh, go even here. We haven't uh, done it yet. We have some dry rubber here. Look, we got five. So, yeah. Um, another thing uh, I could do is to tell the system to always just store my dry rubber in this in this uh, <laughs> in this redstone furnace. That would be kind of cool. You are just extracting. Um, I think I could put another card in here. I just noticed this little arrow over here. I love that. I wish there was like a hotkey. Like if you push the backspace like you can in JEI. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're on a recipe and then you go to a, a recipe that's inside that recipe. Uh, you can then push backspace to go back to the previous recipe. Well, I wish that was like implemented here where you could push the backspace key and this or this key to get back uh, one step. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but I do, I do like that I see this little arrow now. That's kind of cool because it was a really bothersome to have to uh, come out and then go back in in order to get to where you want to go. So I think I want to pull, just put another card in here because I want this one. Uh, no, wait, that's not what I want. That's extracting. Uh, I don't actually have anything feeding into here. That's right. So to do uh, this where it'll accept input and output on that side and I could get an insert card and tell it to insert rubber into there. I think that'll work. Uh, you uh, two and you two and you what are you? Is that the right one? Uh, oh, yeah, I died. So this, yeah, that's the right one. I'm gonna need a uh, filter card. Filter card. I think that's the one that uses the iron bars. Let's look at this recipe. Okay, yeah, and the glass panes and the logic too. I haven't had to make these for <laughs> for a little bit. I made up quite a bit before that one. There, and I think this should work. Uh, I really wish that. Put the basic filter in. We want it to insert dry rubber. Okay. 
a thousand priority exit. So I should just be able to do that. And then it'll just automatically store my dry rubber in there. Oh yeah. And then it'll automatically suck the plastic right out and put it back over here. Oh, we got the stuff. <laughs> Yay! We can make a block placer now. What is this? A dropper, a dropper, and dropper. Well, that's pretty easy. Three droppers. Um, we got this. We got this. Three droppers. Um, a redstone and a pity machine. Machine brain. A pity main machine. <laughs> uh, so, gonna need 10 redstone. 10 redstone, 4 iron, and 4 logs. And, oh, dude, did I use my four log? I don't, I don't want to use the. I wonder if it'll take script logs. Let's see. Let's see the, the machine frame. Oh, because I haven't made my little block here. Now I should see it, right? Yes. Oh, I was saying the thing that I used the acacia. Here's the block placer. Uh, sleep. Let me go see about setting this thing up. Oh, and you know, we could totally automate this with the laser I.O. Uh, and just have it put, uh, we could have it just keep a stack of acacia in here for us. Uh, I don't know how this gets placed. Uh, so maybe I can you real quick. Yeah, that is not facing the right way. There. That's the way you want it to face. Um, and I am getting power. It's power. Yeah, dude, I think I could do this so there's a node right here I could just put a node here and a filter card that's not stacked uh -oh. my only problem with this setup is instead of it getting breaking the log when it's done it turns it into stripped acacia and then it has to break that but when it's working on the stripped acacia you only get one millibucket a tick so I mean how do you deal with that <laughs> um, see, we're gonna need three of you what are you uh -oh. You and for some reason I can't create a backup. I don't know what what that's about. That's a new error message uh, that I started seeing recently. And
Did I? Did I not put that? Is it hard? Insert the empty bed in the basement. Okay, I must have gotten another one out. Uh, we need the card now. And this one we want to insert the acacia bar. Oh, 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 that's right, that's right. I don't want this. I don't want this one. I want the counting one, which means I need to get uh, an observer, because observers observe. <laughs> so, observer uh, and the basic filter makes the counting filter. If we can put the counting filter, put it in stock mode, regulate, and just have it keep uh, like a stack there. Just have it keep a stack. Transfer amount uh, it should be good. I also need to make a speed upgrade for the mob system for the card down there. Okay, get the node and on the beneath side, start stalking. Oh, we gotta link these guys up too, or this is gonna work. There we go. Oh, did you see that? It's already doing the thing, and it's only got 20 in there because I don't have that much in Acacia. Um, so, oh no, how did these become unlocked? All of them are unlocked. Like, what the heck? Okay, so that got rid of my acacia that I had up here. So now it's getting sucked out of there. And any more that we get in from the tree farm uh, should just automatically go in there. I don't have, I think I only have the one tree over at the, now this should all get sorted away down here in, and pulled into our little crafter. Did it already make it? Did it? it? That was uh, that was super duper fast, and it's making it into plastic already. Woo! -hoo! Uh, now this will be a cool thing to do is to take uh, the plastic and put it in my little item card up here, and say to keep a stack of that. So then it should just pull from there. And I need to, I guess, I can put a mod filter for industrial foregoing uh, and put it in that last chest. I have like one more chest. <laughs> over here it's it's already ready to go uh, it's got a diamond chest on it just doesn't have it, anything going into it right now so but i can do that i think what i want is to switch this chest out with the thermal expansion one because i have to keep coming in here and making 
the blocks of appetite because there's so much of that stuff coming in. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oops. Oh, man. So, yeah, that, that's pretty neat. We got the plastic coming in. I can get, this is the crucial moment, is I can get the block placer. Is this going to do what I want it to do? Uh, but I have, like, run out of time uh, now. It, it just takes so long. I didn't realize that uh, my chest had become unlocked down here and that all my plastic had gone into it. Uh, now we should be getting a lot more plastic. Uh, we got some latex coming in and this should this block placer should keep this producing our latex for us. Um, it doesn't appear to be using that much energy or any at all uh, to process this. Hardly any. See, look. It didn't, didn't use any to process it. I don't know, but uh, if I hook these back up, it will drain the the stuff pretty quickly uh, but I don't know if I need more more than what I have right now I might hook the power back up um, it would be cool if I could I don't know disconnect the power from them separately like say okay I have extra power and I can afford to turn these on uh, but I kind of need power to the rest of the system all the time, so I don't know how to, if I had set this up differently, I could have put it on, put these on a different side and then controlled, uh, I could shut the side off basically. But this, I have all the power coming out of one side. So, I might have to, I might have to fiddle with that. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.